Hi everyone, welcome to the part 2 of how to spend diamonds effectively as a free to play player. I will be breaking down the value of resetting dungeons. So, based on the in game valuation of shards, based on the 4 15 aptitude legendaries, basically your Jack, your Ram, your Machina, your Deuce, you can see that in the guild and in the arena shop, 5 shards cost 250 diamonds. In other words, one shot has an in-game valuation of 50 diamonds if you buy from the shops. Now, when you're doing your elite dungeons, you get to reset it 3 times a day. First reset is 20 diamonds, second reset is 50 diamonds, and third reset is 100 diamonds. On average, for every 5 runs, you will get 2 shots. So for the first reset at 20 diamonds, if you get 2 shots, each shot costs you only 10 diamonds each. So compared to the in-game valuation of 50 diamonds per shot, hashtag worth. For the second reset at 50 diamonds, if you get 2 shots, each shot costs you only 25 diamonds. Still worth. For the third reset at 100 diamonds, if you get 2 shots, you break even with the in-game valuation at 1 shot is to 50 diamonds. So therefore, I usually reset twice since the third reset, RNG Jesus might just fuck me over and give me 1 shot and I will spend 100 diamonds on one shot or no shots at all, which is just shit. Next, I'll be talking about gems. Gems are the biggest paywall in the game because there are very limited places for you to purchase gems without using diamonds. And gems are one of the biggest contributions to combat power. You can get some for free by clearing your Samsara dailies. You can get gem draw scrolls for free from clearing your world boss. Or you can spend 680 diamonds to draw for gems. You can also get it from gem sales every Sunday and I'm going to talk about the gem sales. So every Sunday, please set aside 3000 diamonds because there will be one random orange gem and two perfect pink gems on sale. Based on my previous video about gem drawing, to get a perfect pink gem, assuming worst case scenario of no crits, you will need 4 pink gems, which is 16 blue gems, which on average requires you to draw 1.5 times which is roughly 1k diamonds worth. So getting the perfect pink gem at 540 is definitely worthwhile. To get a legendary orange gem, you will need to fuse 4 perfect pink gems, which is 16 pink gems, which is 64 blue gems, which on average requires you to draw 6.5 times, which is 4080 diamonds. Even if you are lucky and you get a crit, it will still cost you 2,040 gems for a single orange gem. So for 1,800 diamonds, it is definitely worthwhile, which is why the buying limit is kept at 1. Next, I'll be talking about the infinite trial resets. Now, based on the in-game valuation of the trial coins, one diamond is 10 trial coins. So every time you want to reset your infinite trial, it costs 100 diamonds, which means that for every 100 diamonds, you should get 1,000 trial coins worth of valuation. So as long as you can get more than 1,000 trial coins per reset, you should definitely reset because it's the fastest and the most reliable way to get your purple and orange gear. For free to play players, here are some areas to not use your diamonds on. Number one, do not summon for heroes. Follow my previous videos and I've shown you many many different ways to get your legendaries reliably. Do not draw for those limited hero events. It costs 500 gems per draw and typically it costs about 25,000 to 75,000 gems to get the hero that you want. Wait for events before committing resources. For example, if you have a lot of vigor and energy pots stored up, do not just haphazardly randomly spam it. Wait for those dungeon events or arena events where they give you additional rewards for completing a certain quota that will maximize the value of your energy and vigor pots. Same for summoning scrolls that you get daily, store them till a summoning event come. Similarly, do not just randomly spam your diamonds on gems, wait for gem draw events or diamond spending events so that you can get the best rebate and best value for your diamonds spent. I think that's about it. I'm sure I may have missed out some stuff, so if you have any tips and tricks, do share in the comment section below. In my previous video, someone pointed out that if I do not exit the world boss stage, my Eidolon counts will not reset. I totally didn't know that and that 
is the entire purpose of me, a beginner, making videos, hoping that more people will provide tips and tricks so that everyone benefits. Hope the video is useful and I'll see you guys in the next video.